everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play August by Taylor Swift off her brand new folklore album on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something you want to learn. Make sure to subscribe to my channel that way you never miss out on another new tutorial and follow me on Instagram for your chance to win a free lesson with me. So this song is going to be really great if you're a beginner. Make sure your guitar is in standard tuning and go ahead and put your capo on the third fret if you want to play this in the same key as Taylor Swift's original version. On top of that, we only need to know four chords to play through the entire song and none of them are bar chords. And I'll also be showing you two strumming patterns which you can use to play through the whole song. So like I said, it's very beginner friendly, so let's go ahead and jump into the overview of what I'll be teaching you in this tutorial. Wishing I could write my name on it. Alright, so like I said, you only need to know four chords to play through this song, and those are D, G, E minor, and A. So as you can see, none of them are bar chords, and the great thing about this song is this is the exact chord progression that's going to happen for the entire song. So if you're someone who's struggling with transitions, this is going to be a really great thing for you because you won't have to worry about transitioning between different chords at different times. So if you're already familiar with how to play these chords, then that's great. However, if you do want a refresher and want me to break it down for you and show you what these chords look like, then go ahead and skip to this time here where I will go over the chords. But after that, we're gonna jump into our strumming patterns. So our first strumming pattern is something I always start with. It's just a one simple down strum on the beat for every chord change. I always suggest beginners start with this. That way you can get used to the song and you can get more familiar with where you're gonna be doing those chord transitions. So if you wanna go through an example of what this would sound like in the song, make sure to skip to this time here where I will take you through an example of how to use that first strumming pattern. But if you feel like you don't need to go through that, that that's totally fine. We can move on to our second strumming pattern. So as you can see, our second strumming pattern is a little bit longer. We've got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. And it's gonna sound a little something like this. So what you wanna do is apply this pattern through one time for every chord change. It is a little bit on the longer side. So if you do want me to break this down for you a little bit and break down that rhythm and things like that, make sure to skip to this time here where I will slowly take you through how to play this strumming pattern. However, if you feel like you already got the rhythm and everything just by watching me play it, then make sure to check out the playthrough here at the end where I will go through the entire song and have all of the chords and lyrics and everything you need to know on screen in front of you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the more in-depth part of this tutorial and we'll start with the chords. I canceled my plan just in case you'd call Back when I was living for the hope of it all All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at these chords. Like I said, there's only four to play the entire song, and we'll start with our D chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that, we've got our G chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next we have our E minor chord, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is our A chord, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And those are the only four chords you need to know to play the song. All right, so after you have those chords memorized, take a few moments to make sure that you can transition between them. If transitioning is something that's hard for you, then make sure to check out my TMT on tips and tricks on how to get better at transitioning between chords faster. But again, like I said at the beginning, if that's something you're struggling with, with transitions and things like that, the song is gonna be great because the entire song does follow the same chord progression from D to G to E minor to A for the entire song. So it's gonna be really great for people who are struggling with transitioning. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the strumming patterns that you can use with this song. Alright, so the first strumming pattern is just one simple down strum on the beat for every chord change. Normally I refer to this as my practice pattern, however I do use it in the little cover at the end, so it's really great for people who are just starting out on guitar and having a little bit of troubles with strumming. You could play this strumming pattern for the entire song and it would sound really pretty. So um, let's go ahead and go through an example of what this would sound like. I have my D chord on because that's the first chord in the song, and all you really want to do is just do one down strum for every chord change throughout the song. So we've got our D chord, then we've got G, strum down once, 
then E minor, and then A. All right, and what you wanna do is just take that exact same strumming pattern and go through the entire song, sing along with it, and just make sure you know which word and stuff you'll be doing those transitions on. So let me go ahead and go through the first verse for you so you can kind of get an example of how to use this. Salt air, the rust on your door, I never needed anything more. Whispers of are you sure? Alright, so basically you want to do that for the entire song until you're used to where those transitions will be. And then once you have gone that far, then we can jump into our second strumming pattern. So our second strumming pattern is a little bit longer. We've got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. I know that this seems a little bit intimidating, especially if you're new to guitar, but don't worry, we are gonna break this down. So um, let's go ahead and just start with going through the motions. So let's put our D chord on, since again, that's the first chord in the song. And let's just go through the motions. We've got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 Right? So if you're new to guitar and strumming is new to you and things, it can be a little bit counterintuitive to have to circle your hand around. So there are going to be a few places in this pattern where you want to circle your hand around and get ready for the next down following a down strum or up following another up strum. So just make sure that that's something you're aware of and that you're practicing if you're new. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move on and put this in rhythm so you can hear what this pattern sounds like in rhythm. So let me go ahead and play it for you once first. We've got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. All right, so why don't you put on your D chord and try that with me and I'll count us in. One and two and three and four and down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. How is that? Hopefully it wasn't too hard. Um, if you did struggle with that a little bit, make sure to pause the video and practice that a few more times. However, I am gonna move on because the tempo that we were going at just now is pretty slow compared to the original tempo. So the next thing you wanna do after you have that rhythm slowly is we want to speed it up little by little. So let's go ahead and challenge ourselves to speed it up a little bit more. Let me go ahead and show you first. One and two and three and four and down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. faster than we just practiced it out, but I know you can do it. So let's go ahead and put on our D chords and try that again. I'll count us in. One and two and three and four and down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. All right, awesome. So if you were able to keep up with me at that speed, then you're doing great. If you were not, no worries, just pause the video and practice that a few more times until you can get it at that speed. But let's push ourselves just a little bit more. We're gonna speed it up to tempo now, okay? So let me go ahead and show you once how that's gonna sound. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. So that is at tempo, it is a lot faster. So let's go ahead and try that together. Put your D chord on and I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 down. So hopefully 
hopefully you were able to keep up at that tempo. Again, if you were not, just make sure to pause the video and practice that a few more times until you can keep up at tempo. But um, what you wanna do after you get it up to speed is you want to put those chord transitions back in. So let me go ahead and put that on the screen so you can see it. Again, this whole song follows this transition from D to G to E minor to A. So what we're gonna do is play through this whole pattern one time for each chord. So let's go ahead and go through this together. Again, we're starting with our D chord. We have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Then you switch to your next chord, which is G. Same thing. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Then we've got E minor. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. And then end with A. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. All right, perfect. So now after you've practiced those transitions, just string it all together without stopping. One, two, three, four. D, G, E minor, A. Again, D, G, E minor, A. You got it. So that is the strumming pattern that I like to use for this song. And again, this can be applied for the entire song and it sounds really great. Um, one little thing that I did want to add in there though, is sometimes when I play through this, I like to add a little bit of a palm mute. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing this exact same pattern, but what I'm doing is taking my right hand with the pick in it and I'm just really lightly like laying it against my strings here so that when I strum down, it kind of dilutes the sound a little bit, makes it a little bit more um, muted. And I just think that it kind of goes with this song because this song is kind of more on the quiet, like peaceful side. So what I'll do is I'll usually palm mute my verses and then I'll let the choruses ring. So if that's something you want to add in there, I would totally suggest doing it. If you don't want to do it or you find palm muting hard, you can totally skip this part too. But let me go ahead and show you what this pattern sounds like with a little bit of a palm mute. Salt air and the rust on your door Never needed anything more Whispers of are you sure Never have I ever before so you can hear with the palm mute, it just kind of dulls the sound a little bit, and I think that that sounds good, but um, that's totally up to you. And of course, this strumming pattern is just my suggestion. If you find yourself just playing something different, I totally would suggest just going with whatever you're naturally feeling in your body, because whatever rhythm you're feeling in your body is gonna be way easier for you to sing along with later. All right, so once you have those strumming patterns down and you've practiced transitioning smoothly and you have those chords memorized and everything, then we can go ahead and put everything we learned in this tutorial together to play through the whole song. Again, I will have the lyrics and everything you need to know on screen in front of you. So let's go ahead and jump into the playthrough. Cancel plans just in case you'd call and say, meet me behind the mall. So much for summer love and saying us cause you weren't mine You weren't mine. This is August by Taylor Swift. Good luck.
moment in time Cause it was never mine And I can see it's twisting in bed sheets All this slipped away like a bottle of wine Cause you were never mine Oh So that was my tutorial on how to play August by Taylor Swift. I really hope you liked it. If it did help you, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as to subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss out on another new tutorial. Here are my social media sites in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. And one last little plug, if you liked the shirt I was wearing in today's tutorial, this is my Music Is Forever shirt, which you can find this and a lot of other designs in my merch store linked down below as well as under this video. Every purchase there really helps my channel to grow and allows me to continue making these free tutorials for you guys. So thank you so much to anyone who's ever supported me in that way. But I think that concludes this video, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!